The great thing about a short story, you can work on it, put it away, forget about it for a year, mm -hmm. and go back to it with a different perspective or a different idea. And so I've done that for many years with these stories. Pull them out, polish them, change them, put them back, and finally I guess I said, okay, it's time to finish this and, and see if we can publish a collection. These stories, many of them were inspired by things that really happened when I was a small town lawyer. Uh, of the seven stories, I think four are about lawyers yes. do, doing crazy things. The truth of it is most of the lawyers I knew way back then and still know are, you know, honest, hardworking people who don't make a lot of money in a small town. You know, nobody wants to read about those guys. That's pretty dull. You know, you want to read about the guy who stole the money and faked his death or whatever and took off. And that, those are, and those stories happen. It happened in, in the county where I was practicing law, you know, several times. And th there's this, there's a general um, feeling of unhappiness. And there's this sense of um, uh, longing for escape. The story called Fish Files, where the lawyer does manage to, to get away, barely. Um, but that's not an uncommon dream among probably not just lawyers. Probably a lot of people have that dream, but um, you write about what you know, so I write about lawyers.